is the land plane the right implement to maintain my road, driveway, or parking lot? Today, I have a job that may help you answer that question. I mean, for all intents and purposes, it's a one-trick pony. Today we need to maintain a parking lot. We're getting into the winter months now and we have not been over here for about five months. But now we need to give the place a quick once over. I decided to bring over the Kubota L3560 tractor and put my land plane on it. The reason for that is that the parking lot is not in horrible shape or anything like that. So this is mostly just a maintenance and touch up situation. We have one place where some potholes are trying to come back a little bit, but it's not too bad. We should be able to just grade that right over. Um, and the rest of the parking lot is actually in pretty good shape. So while we're here cleaning this parking lot up, take a ride with me, we'll talk about the land plane. The main reason I use a land plane is because when I'm doing jobs that just require me to do maintenance on a dirt or gravel area, it is extremely efficient. One of the things I really like about it is it doesn't dig too deep into the work area. It just kind of skims over it and then turns the top layer of material over. And because of that, you get a pretty nice result with the gravel being pretty evenly distributed along the length of the blade. Now, I have used this to strip grass out of an overgrown gravel driveway. Um, I don't know that I would say I recommend it for that use. It wasn't easy or anything, but I was able to do it to get it to a point where I could use a leaf blower, and it actually looked pretty decent. As far as running it goes, I'm sure you can kind of tell. I'm not really having to make a lot of adjustments. I mean, I don't want to say it's set it and forget it, but it's awfully close to that. Once I get it set the way that I want it, and it's dragging, and material's rolling off the back of it, I pretty much can just leave it alone unless the terrain changes. You know, with the box blade, it seems like you're messing with it all of the time, having to make a pitch change or a depth change or something like that, whereas with the land plane, because of the way it just skims, you don't really have to do that. So that's all the stuff that I really like about the land plane. Now let's talk about a few things that maybe you consider cons of the land plane. While it does a really good job of skimming off the top layer and leveling it up, it's not going to move material over a long distance. That's just not what it's designed for. It's very different from a box plate that way. So the land plane does a really good job of like covering over little ruts and potholes. It's, it's very good at that because the material just falls right into it. Couple of passes and it looks like brand new. But you shouldn't confuse that with, hey, I'm repairing the pothole because that's not really what's happening. You're really just covering it up. Now, if you're thinking about buying one of these to maintain like a road or driveway or whatever you don't want to run it right down the center of the road if your road's got a really nice crown what you want to do is run it down one side and then the other keeping the edge kind of in the middle of the road that way you're not knocking the crown out of the road one other thing i've noticed when running this thing is if it's really dry and compacted that the land plane will bounce a lot. Sometimes it'll bounce over the top of the surface rather than digging down into it because it's so dry and there's such a hard pan crust there. So one thing I've seen people do pretty successfully is add like some sort of ballast to it. Like maybe they'll weld a little tray to the top of it or find some other way to just put more weight down on top of it um, to act as downforce since the three point hitch doesn't apply any on its own. So I think the main thing to just keep in mind with this is, I mean, for all intents and purposes, it's a one-trick pony. It does one thing, but it does it really, really well. Okay, let's go see how it all turned out. Really didn't take too terribly long to get it done. I think we're here for maybe hour, hour and a half. So we'll start right here in this area. 
this is the one that had kind of the, the roughest spots in it, but you can't even really tell they're there. Now they're not fixed, don't get me wrong. They're definitely gonna come back at some point, water's gonna run over it, whatever, but it looks a whole lot better. Over here on this side, everything turned out really good. It really wasn't in that bad of shape. There's normally a really bad rut right through here, but we haven't had enough rain for it to really become a problem. So that's really good. So I'm really happy with the way everything turned out and it looks really good as you saw when we did the last walk around. But again, just keep in mind, this is a maintenance tool. This is not a building tool. I am not going to bring this thing out to build a gravel driveway. I'm gonna be using a box blade or maybe my skid steer or something like that, excavator, whatever. But I'm not gonna build it with a land plane. So if you have any tricks or tips of using a land plane or if you're thinking about buying one or you have questions, put them down below in the comments. I'll be happy to answer any questions that I can or maybe someone else from the community can jump in as well. We really appreciate you guys and we look forward to seeing you on the next video.